Now uh, these three questions basically cover the three things that we're being asked to be able to do. All right. So we've got what percentage of eighty is eight? All right. So that's basically saying, right, eighty should be uh, sorry. Eight can be expressed as a percentage of eighty. All right. But then what is thirty? Percent of 25. So with the second question, we're asking something slightly different. We're saying, well, 30% of 25, that's like saying, well, the answer to the percentage of 80 is 8. It's the same thing we're asking for a different part of the answer. Does that make sense? Am I being clear? <laughs> Third, you know the percentage and you know the answer. You try and work out what the total amount is. Okay, so what we've got here, which is an important skill to be able to do as we move forward, especially when we use mathematical equations and things, is we're actually only using one process here, but we've got different parts of it that we know or don't know. Right. So, for instance, can I ask someone... Um, to explain to me and tell me what to write if I want to find what percentage of 80 is 8. How, not, I don't want the answer, I want to know how I would get to it. How get to what would you write down? So, 8 by 80. What does that mean? I'm putting in a fraction, so. Okay. So we know to express 8 as a percentage of 80, we would write it as. So if I write it. 8 out of 80, okay? So that's as a fraction, that's not as a percentage yet. What do we have to do now? We could simplify. We could simplify. Um, I'm not going to do that just yet. What? Because there's something else I have to do, have to do, rather than could do. You know what I mean by that? Yeah. What do I have to do to convert a fraction? So this is the fraction, that's absolutely fine. I need to go from the fraction to the percentage. What do I have to do then? You could do it out of 100. That would, be, that would work, wouldn't it? Um, the only problem with that is 80 doesn't go to 100 very easily. Okay. Um, do we have a simple way that if it doesn't go to, I mean, we could get it to 100, this one, we could do what Max was saying, we could simplify first, but we've probably got a more efficient method at this stage. What can we do? We've got the same guys, what I said, does that mean the rest of you don't really, not really sure, I don't remember this first. I know it, I just did a different way to write Oh, okay, I'll we'll come back to you. Ema, what would you do at this? Um, I would do an eight. So we have to do 8 divided by 80. That's basically what the fraction means. Ah, that's what we want, isn't it? It's the times 100 bit. Right? I could do times 100. Hayley, like you said, you, that kind of ends up being doing the same thing as putting it out of 100. Right? So can I ask you to tell me what that answer is? 10%. 10%. Can you all confirm that? Do you need to use calculators or can we do that without a calculator? You're not even writing, Sam. What, what are you going to do? Magic this out of thin air when I ask you to study it? Can you all? We use that word, can't we? Can you all verify that the answer is 10%? Okay. Yes, have you done that? Yes. Yeah, have you written that down then? You can verify it. By the way, that process, you've gone through your calculator, what is 8 divided by 80? 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 .1. So this bit is 0 0.1. So if we do 0 0.1 times 100, we can see it does make... 10%, yeah, 10. Grab your sticky paper. Okay. Right, 
So what I'm going to do is this. This is what I'm focusing a little bit on structure here. So I would like you to write down this, even if you've written down the other things. So we've written 8 over 80. We've then multiplied that by 100, and we get the answer 10%. There's a reason why I want you to think that's the structure that we've done. Okay? All right. Now, there's a reason why I want to do that, because if we now look at... Um, B, right, question B, we can use the same structure. What is 30% of 25? Okay. So, how do I answer that question? So 30% of 25, that's 30 by 100 of 25. So now that becomes 30 by 100 times 25. Now 25 and 100, 100 is 25 times 4, so we can cancel out 25 and 100 and 30 by 4. Okay, you've got to explain it more. Everyone get that? No! no. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the, like, I think that one of the issues we have with the way I mean, it's like, because he, he does use different terms buy. like buy and you know, that's not, not that. what the rest of us are thinking. Try it. My way, I didn't use fractions. Okay. Basically, so I knew um, I knew what I knew five was twenty percent of twenty five. So how? Because five times five is twenty five, and it's twenty five times five. Okay. So and we know that. What did you say? Five is twenty five is twenty percent of twenty five. Twenty. So. And then I did, for the rest of the 10%, I just did like so 10 to 5. So, maybe you don't need to practice with that because, because Charlie's explaining it. But is there a way, so you know, just know that 5 is 20% of 25. Is there anything we could do, guys, if I didn't know that? Yeah, so you know it, maybe some people don't know that. 25 by 5. Yeah. That's it. But... Why would I do 25 divided by 5 in this question? Well, that's what I'm asking, isn't it? You obviously made a decision. You knew something. You used some information, which is great, absolutely brilliant, but maybe someone else doesn't have that information. What, what could we do? We need a method for solving that problem. Aaron, go. what would you do? Twenty-five divided by a hundred, because that means what? Twenty-five percent. That's what I think. I was it. Haley or Sophie was saying, make it out of hundred if you're using. That's the same thing, isn't it? Twenty-five percent is twenty-five over hundred. Yeah. And then I'll times it by thirty. Times it by thirty. So that is. Basically saying 25%, and this multiply symbol is the same in language, in English language, I've said lots of times, multiplication is another way of saying of. Do you remember saying 2 multiplied by 3 in before you'd have said 2 lots of 3? Yeah? So multiplication is can be of. So if we can write 25% as a different way, say 25% of. 30. Right, how do we do that now, though? I just wanted to say he's doing the opposite of the question because he's changing the 25 to percentage and the okay. 30 to non percentage. And All right. Instead of dividing, he's doing the opposite. So we've got what is 30% of 25? He's going to get the same answer. He's not going to get the same answer, though. I know, I know. Same. Well, let's, let's look at them. So let's do 30% of. 25. So, how would I, someone that's following on that doesn't necessarily know, how would I write this in the same way? Hmm. Uh, that would be saying 25 out of 30, but this means 25% because we'd like to say 25 out of 100. So, if I want 30%, it actually needs to be. 
30 over 30% means 30 out of 100. Of means multiplied by 25. So the guys are saying that's going to give me exactly the same answer. Do we all think that's true? Did you check it? Can anyone give me a justification, a reason why it is going to be the same answer looking at what was written on it? Because, you see, you have like 30 divided by 25 is an enumerator. No, okay, make 25 a fraction, 25 by 1. And then if you times the two fractions, you get. It's, I think it's a bit simpler than this. If you look at it, guys, we can say we do 25 on this one divided by 100, then multiply by 30. In this one, we do 30 divided by 100 and then multiply by 25. So basically we're doing 25 times 30, the other way around, but we're still doing the divide by 100. Would that still give the same answer? Yes. Um, it does give us the same. This one though, this is the one that I prefer because it gives me the answer to the question that I'm doing. I've laid out the question that I'm doing. So I, I like this one, 30% of 25, we can do 30, convert it to a fraction. You all know how to do that on your calculators or, yeah, you're all good with that. Is there anyone that's like, oh, I don't know how we got the answer. So what is the answer? 7.5. 7 now, there are other ways to do this and we can come back to it. Um, I'm quite happy if we do one way. If everyone is happy with how to do that method, we're good to start. Do you all see, guys, that is the 1%? Uh, yeah. 30% divided by 100 tells me what 1% is of the number. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right what he's saying, or is he wrong? No, he's right. Wrong. I would say, actually, the way I've written it like that, what we're actually doing, you can do 0 .3 25 .3. divided by 100 would tell me what the 1% yeah, that, that's what ah, I do it that way because that way, that way's 1%. But now we can't you do a different way to what I've written. Okay. Just being sure. All right, let's just finally, let's look at 50% of what number is 13. 50, now again, I don't just want an answer, I want a method. So C, 50% of what is 13? How can we set that up? So sometimes people go, now that's easy, I know this. But what if the numbers get a bit more difficult and I have to be able to apply a method? I can't just do it. Do we all know what the answer to this is? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone that's not? Everyone knows, yes? Do you think 6.5? Charlie? Um, yeah, so it's 50% is, is half of the, of the whole. Yeah. It's half of the whole number. And so you just do 13 times 2. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, guys, for everyone who follows, I'm going to write down what he said using my, the, the structure that we've been doing. So 50% is 50 over 100 multiplied by something. That's the something here that I didn't I knew before. But I know that the answer is 13. If you like. Okay, I've used algebra. I've used a symbol to replace a number that I don't know. I've just not used a very mathematical symbol at the moment. All right? 
Um, now, what this is, what it looks like, guys, if we think about what this actually means, again, it's 50 divided by 100, then multiplied by something equals 13. Now, can we find a way of figuring out what that question mark must be? Yeah? Go for it. What, what would you suggest? It doesn't matter if it's not a step. We can... Good. Let's reverse it. Let's reverse our steps. I right, go for it. Can you? I, I get what you mean, it's not quite, but I, I see where you're going. There is one thing we could do to help us, which is basically what Charlie did, which is, should we simplify the 50 divided by 100 first? Yes. Yeah. What could that be? One half. Can we say that's 0 0.5 yes. times something equals 13? Yes. Can we now reverse that? Would that help us a little bit easier? Because we've done some simplifying at that. That's basically simplifying this stage. So what can I do there, Max? Uh, you could, like, what if what number is double 13 times one half? And why that, though? Because, because that's, one that's half. how you got the number, half of something. Okay. If you right. have something, then double yeah. you get the original. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm being a little bit overly picky with things here, because I'm, I'm feel free to sit down, right? Um, I want you to have all the little tools and knowledge of everything that can help you in the future. Now, there is something you can do to help you, but some of, I'm not going to respond. It doesn't matter how many you wave and stare and try and get my face. I'm done. Put your hand down. Okay. There is something we can do. Like you guys have just said, oh, something is half to make 13. But that doesn't say this. This says a half is multiplied by something. So what can we do, even if we do it in our head, with multiplication? Even if we do it, multiplication can be written in a, could it be written in a different way there? Imaya, what can we do? Just saw you were zoning out a little bit, so I'll ask you a question just to bring you back. Do you know? Stay with me then. Charlie? 13 times but why? Because it's I don't want to, like you kind of answered a different question. Because it's <laughs> Ema. I could do that, but what I that that is what we want to do. But what I'm trying to get to you guys is multiplication can be written the other way round. Is what I'm saying. Do you all remember doing that? The reason is because 2 times 3 and 3 times 2 are the same. the same thing. Now, why have I done that? Now, you might say that's completely pointless. I don't need to. But for me, right, that now makes more sense to do what you're saying, you know, which is, well, if I've got something multiplied by 0 0.5 makes 13, just like Kenji said, we can do the opposite, we can do the reverse steps, which is instead of multiplying by 0 0.3, we can, sorry, 0.5, we can reverse it. How do I reverse multiplying by 0 0.5? Dividing by 0 0.5. Now, some of you will know that's the same thing as multiplying by 2. But what I'm trying to give is a structure that everyone can follow every time when the numbers get a bit harder, right? So can we all just do, what is 13 divided by 0 0.5? So the question mark is 26. So I'm thinking of other numbers. 26. All right. Now I've tried to keep, so it might be completely the wrong thing that I've just done. It might have confused but I'm hoping not. Um, what we've just done is we've answered these three questions. Right? Let's 
have a look at our textbook and let's go through a few more. Now, if you would like to just get on with the questions, feel free, but you must be silent and working on your own. Because who would like to go through a couple more examples with me? All right, the rest of you that don't want to, feel free to get on with the work, which is this practice here. All right, you've got like example A, example B, example C. Feel free to do some of each. You don't have to do them all, right? But you must be silent while I'm doing the others. So the rest of us, um, let's pick a question. Uh, which question would you like to do? One question. This one, D, what percentage of 620 is 124? Okay. So, what percentage of 620 is 24? Always. If you have to ask, the answer is definitely yes. Always. I'll show you what. Jinx. All right. Um, let's try and work this one out there. So this is the same as example A. How can we answer it? Any ideas? You've got to look at the the examples that we've just done. Don't just turn over your page and forget about them. Look at what we just did. How can you do? Have Is that the way we do it? <laughs> so we can do, in this case, 24 divided by 620. All right times by the hundred, and we get the answer. Just uh, say it again, and can we have verification? Three, with the multiply by hundred. Lots of decimals there. Um, can I ask you, at uh, what accuracy should we write that number to? Yes. Okay. Two decimal places. I like, do you know what? I said accuracy and you came back with decimal places. That means you understand. Well done. Should we do, I don't care what the decision was. She knew what accuracy meant. Let's go for two decimal places. So the answer would be 3.87, we look at the zero, and we round, well, we just keep it as the seven, don't we? The rest of it doesn't matter. 3.87%. Could anyone round that to a lower accuracy, so less accurate? 3.87. Nine. Nine, yeah. And even lower accuracy? Four percent. Good. All right. All of those, very happy with. Yeah? They're all correct. How do you feel about that as an example? Yeah. So the next question is, do we want to do another one of those or do you feel good with them? One more? Okay. Pick one. G, what percentage of 96 is 24? So, what percentage of 96 is 24? Is that right? Oh, so, G, what percentage is 24? Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's already got an answer. How do I set it up? 
24 out of 92. Guys, do you get, we don't really do it in this school, but if I was to write this as a test result, I got 24 out of 96. We'd write it like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. And then sometimes you'd go, what percentage did I get? And I'd say, work it out. And you'd go, mm. now you do 24 out of 96. That's basically like saying, what percentage is 24 out of 96? So we do 24 divided by 96, multiplied by 100, and you get the answer. Exactly? Yes. Now, uh, those that are with me, we've got a choice. Um, you can either... I don't think we've got much time. Uh, let's get timed. Uh, we've got 10 minutes. Um, you can either yourself, before we move on, just do some more than yourself of those, or we can have a look at one of the next ones. Well, you think you're good enough with those ones that you like? Let's look. Is everyone in agreement now? Yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, pick one of those questions for me. Okay. Uh, and 14% of the number is 49. Have I got my time as well? Um, so what is the question? 14% of, this is what uh, Abby wanted to do, should we say X instead of question mark? is, what did we say? 49. 49. So, we write this one like 14 out of, it's not in this case, we know 14 out of 100 multiplied by x equals because that word is is like the way of equals. The word of is Multiply. Do you remember what can we do with the 14 out of 100? Let's turn it into 0 0.14. So 0 0.14 times x is 49. So how can we figure out what x is? Give everyone a chance to think. <laughs> it is. Have you all got that? I, I wrote it up. In the other example, x times 0 0.14 is 49. So then we can do the, the reverse is x equals, well, let's undo the multiply by 0 0.14 by dividing by 0 0.14. And we get? 350. 350? Well, I like... Your response there, Dash, you're thinking, but my answer doesn't make sense. Let's just check whether my answer makes sense. 14% of a number is 49. That is that more than or less than 100%? Less than, isn't it? 14%, is it a little bit of 100% or a big bit of 100%? A little bit. A little bit. So therefore, 49 is only a little bit of the number I'm going to end up with. So does it make sense that my answer is 350? Yeah, we could. Okay, okay.